jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh Jingle bells, 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 as you can see from the title, today's theme is Midwinter Christmas. As you can hear, I'm definitely playing Christmas carols in the background, you better believe it. So I'm really excited. Tonight me and the girls are doing a Midwinter Christmas potluck dinner. So we're all going to take something to eat, sit around on our asses and eat everything. So today I'm wanting to do a really Christmassy look. Obvs but something quite glowy, something really bright, with a red lip. Okay, so first of all I'm going to prep my lips and I'm going to use the Manuka Doctor Acprefine Bee Venom Lip Enhancer. So I've seen a lot of people use this and I was really curious and I really wanted to use it, so... <sighs> I bit the bullet and I bought it and I've been using it this week and it's okay. It smells really nice, it smells really, I don't know, peppermint-y almost? But um... It's a really mild sting and I thought it would sort of, I guess I had really high hopes. I thought it would sort of plump my lips up quite a lot, but it, it um, but it didn't really. It sort of flattened out any lines, because I do have quite a, a, a lot of lines through here. So it did sort of push them out, which was good. So I'm going to put that on while we get ready. It's really glossy and it's quite um, runny. I find that applicator really, really hard to use, like really fucking hard. It's like I'm dribbling. Okay, so first of all, eyebrows are already done using my old fave Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I'm going to go straight in with some um, primer, and that will be my one step correct. And just rubbing that in. Just with my hands, I don't really care. So that is on. I am. What am I going to do next? I'm then going to put on my foundation, and I'm going to be using my EXO Beauty Round Face Brush. And yes, the soundtrack is definitely Michael Bublé. Okay, so foundation is on. I'm going to go in with my concealer now. I want to be very bright. I am going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal. And this is in the colour Porcelain. So very, 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 very bright. So I am... Um, I like the actual concealer itself, but I really hate the applicator. It just splits and it doesn't hold the product and it just goes fucking everywhere. And I'm just going to blend that out with the same brush that I use for my foundation. <gasps> you know what I should have made tonight? I should have made eggnog. I've never made eggnog before. I've never even had eggnog before. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just set everything that I've just put on. So I'm going to set my whole face with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. So I'm just going to use a big powder brush and just chuck it in here. How much less trouble am I having? Unlike my last video. So especially underneath my eyes where I've just done all that concealer. And then just really lightly over my whole face just to set everything else. Okay, so that is all done. I'm going to go ahead and get onto my eyeshadow. So I'm wanting something just really, really subtle because I want to do a big wing. I want to focus on the three L's. My lashes, my liner, and my lips. My three L's, baby. So I'm going to take this palette here. It looks like this. Stunning. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to use all the lightest shades in here. Not really going to be doing a whole lot apart from just really making it nice and soft. Then I'm going to use some other eyeshadows to make it pop. So I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Primer and this is to prime my eyelids. And then I'm just going to rub it in with my finger. 
Cool, so that's all on. Now I'm gonna go ahead with a fluffy brush and I'm gonna set that with a nude um, with a nude eyeshadow just out of my Morphe 350 palette. So that's just gonna stop the primer from creasing and it's just gonna set it. So that is done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and with just a little tiny bit of a darker colour. And just done a little bit of a defined eye just there. I just want it to be really soft. So now I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm going to use this really light lavender colour down here and I'm going to put that up on my brow bone just to make everything pop. And I'm going to be using the Tapered Top Eyeshadow Brush by EXO Beauty. Cool, so that part is done. I am now going to go ahead and get my, where is it? Where are you, child? And use my Astralis Metallic Suns and Rose Petals. So obviously, if you guys have watched my videos quite a bit, you'll know that I absolutely love this. So I'm going to go ahead and use this e.l.f. brush just to plant that in. Plant. Apparently I'm a garden now. So I'm just going to start in the middle and then work my way out. And then whatever left is left over on the brush, just really lightly, is going to go into the corner. Okay, so that is on. I'm not sure how the lighting is, so I'm really sorry. It's because I've got a new light and it is like pitch black outside because it is just so stormy. So I'm really sorry if the lighting isn't the best. But um, you're just going to work with the elements sometimes, you know? So that is on and I really like how that's looking. Now I am going to do some contouring before I go ahead and put on my liner and my lashes. So I'll be using my new brush. So I bought the Morphe M350 brush. So it looks like this. So this is a contour brush and this is one that Nikki Tutorials uses a lot. And I absolutely adore Nikki. I think she is such an amazing, amazing makeup artist. So I thought I'd give it a go, so I went ahead and bought this and I've used it once as you can tell um, and it's just so soft, it's such a good brush. Okay, so contour is done. Now I want it to be really glowy, really wintry. So I'm going to be using my Sun Dipped That Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to go with Tourmaline down here, which is a... I would say it's kind of a purple, like a lilac purple. I'm not sure if you can see that. And I'm going to... So I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to use that Morphe M350 brush and go straight on in. Yeah, see, it even comes on my skin just like a little bit of a light lilac colour. It's gorgeous. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of this one here called Summer, and I'm going to put it on the bridge of my nose. And then I'm going to take this EXO Beauty Flat Top Eyeshadow Brush and just blend out that line. And then just a little bit on my Cupid's bow. And I'm going to go in with my NARS blush in Orgasm. And I will be using the EXO Beauty Bronzer Blush. Bronzer Blush. Bronzer Brush. So I'm just fixing up my brows because obviously when I do the powder, it's going to sit on my brows and make them look quite powdery. So I'm just going over them with the same brush and using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. So doing my brows actually, I 
am reminded why I'm doing what I'm doing. I hate having to do my eyebrows. It is the bane of my life. It is so time consuming to do your eyebrows. So I have actually gone ahead and booked mine in to be tattooed on and not like tattooed on like they're just gonna get a tattoo gun and just yeah, like pencil it on. Um, it's called Feather Touch so it, they look like real hairs. Um, I'll have to find a photo and see if I can put it up on my Instagram or something. But it looks really, really natural and it's going to save me from having to do this every day because I do this every day. I do not leave the house without my eyebrows on. If I leave the house without my eyebrows on, I'm probably near death sick. Like, so ill. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can film the appointment um, of getting my eyebrows tattooed. I'm not sure if I'll be able to. And I'd be, I feel kind of bad asking your friend to come along and film it because I think the whole process takes about two hours. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, but I will find out. Even if I can't film it, you guys are obviously going to see a before and after. And I will be doing a separate vlog on the whole experience of getting my eyebrows tattooed as well. Just, to, just in case anyone is thinking about getting their eyebrows done or wondering if it hurts or anything. I don't know. This is actually going to be my first tattoo ever. And it's going to be my eyebrows. So I'm going to go ahead and do my liquid eyeliner now. I'm going to be using my liquid eyeliner by The Balm. We can breathe. Actually, I don't want it to smudge or I'll just die. supposed to fix that. How am I supposed to fix that? So I'm going to put on my mascara and I'm going to be using my Max Factor Velvet Volume. No one looks good putting on mascara, I swear. Okay, so it is now lashes time and the lashes that I'll be wearing today are by EXO Beauty and they are called the Gold Digger. So eyelashes are on and they are looking really nice. I'm really liking this makeup look at the moment. It's just nice and glowy. So it is time for lips. Now I'm using two different lipsticks for this look. I am using Colourpop in Lost and I'm also using Kat Von D in Bachelorette. So just like that, I'm going to use the darker ones for the outside and um, Bachelorette for the middle. And going in with Bachelorette. You know what I forgot to do? My bottom lashes. I'm gonna do those now. for watching if you do like this look please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel um, I will leave all the products that I've used down the bottom in the description box as well as all my social media as well so yeah thank you so much for watching I am going to go and eat a fuckload of food now Bye.